What is up guys, Broken Ronin here, and in this video, I'm going to be trying something a little different in doing a Jujutsu Kaisen versus battle. As the title and thumbnail suggests, I'm going to be pitting up Ao Toto and Maki Zenin, both in their prime, in their strongest forms, in order to determine who would win. If you end up enjoying this video and want to see more content like this on the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. In any case, let's jump right into the scaling. So, like I said earlier, we're just going to be going over Prime Maki versus Prime Toto in order to clear up a, a little bit of a misconception I saw on like TikTok and Twitter a while back. Um, and with me here, scaling these two characters is my homie Tessero. You can go in and say what's up to him. Yo, this is Tessero, the number one Yuji Itadori fan. I think considering the fact that uh, Toto is Toto's scaling takes place early on in the series, we can start off with that. So, um, kicking off with speed... Toto's scaling is kind of interesting like he shows that he's probably a much more skilled and like quicker fighter than he is in goodwill right arguably because he trained um as it's implied like in chapter like 54 or something like that um we see that he's able to react to Mahito on several occasions this same Mahito was shown to be relative to like uh a Yuji when he initially pulled up on him right they're able to swap hands react to each other uh things like that um and throughout the fight we see that toto was able to consistently react to mahito and and souls that he's able to transfigure uh and this would lead you to believe that you know toto and yuji are relative with maybe toto even having the speed advantage considering how much of a threat mahito saw him to be uh however we do have a rather interesting statement i think on chapter 130 which is right after mahito opens his domain expansion in which the narrator just outright states that Toto, re like, Toto reacted with using a simple domain, but Yuji's reaction was faster as he was already running towards Mahito. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Like, how would you interpret this statement, uh, in, in your opinion? Well, I mean, it's just pretty blatant. Mm -hmm. Um, there's just, it's stating that both reacted and one is just faster than the other. I don't really think you could interpret it any other way. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's also interesting because Toto's reaction is most likely just a mental one. Kind of makes Toto seem even slower because whereas he's reacting slower by using simple domain, Yuji like consciously realizes that Mahito's opening a domain and then sprints towards him at full speed, right? Um, in the same vein, Mahito is stated to be the fastest, which is pretty consistent considering he is fighting the both of them. I think it would make sense that he is superior but relative on the high end to them. Um, so we basically have Toto being slower, albeit like unquantifiably than Yuji, Yuji being like basically relative to Mahito, and to substantiate this even further, we see that Yuji goes on to fight a stronger Mahito than Toto does, so that would kind of imply that Yuji's either getting stronger as the fight goes on, or that Toto is just like low end relative to Yuji at best. Yeah. We then go on, this is important uh, for, for scaling, because we then go on to see that Yuji um, has an encounter with Naoya, right? And, and, and you can kind of go over that if you want, on how that interaction plays out. Right, so Naoya pulls up like a Chad, makes Yuji um, rethink his entire life. After he talks his little mess about what he's about to do to Megami, he teleports in front of both Choso and Yuji, gives them both a little slap, and then teleports away while letting us as the readers know that he's not trying his hardest when it comes to his speed yeah it, it's pretty wild because like like you said now you literally does just pull up right he's like i'm gonna beat up your friend right i'm gonna I'm bully him but first i'm gonna bully you pulls up to choso <laughs> and yuji like I, i'm gonna show the panels on screen here but yuji and choso don't like register mentally that he's there until much later Yuji kind of turns as Naoya throwing his punch, so that makes you think, oh yeah, he's able to perceive him. But then, it, it like, Akutami makes it very clear that Naoya is able to, what is essentially to them, teleport away while they're still in the middle of throwing their punch. So, he blitzes their perception and jumps, like, I don't know, 10 feet across the road while Yuji and Choso are still attacking. Um, and then, obviously, as Tessero said, uh, Naoya just straight up says, like, shall I try upping my speed, which very heavily implies he was not going all out right because obviously if you're able to up your speed you weren't using all of it to begin with um they're then yeah. in there like they're, the fight is then interfered with uh by the chad yuta uh, who then goes goes on to bully yuji too but uh anyways 
Um, so that is basically the extent of Toto scaling. It's important to keep in mind how Toto scales relative Naoya, which is basically pretty bad. Uh, Naoya should speed blitz even while even while like holding back. Um, and you'll you realize the importance of this soon as we get into Maki scaling. So getting into Naoya versus Maki, I want to first start out by introducing a distinction between the two Naoyas that um, ex have existed in the manga and where the one that fought Yuji and Ch uh, Choso clearly slower than the one that fought Maki. There's also reason to believe that um, while he's increasing the speed of his curse technique, he should also be getting stronger because he's letting out um, very inherently negative emotions like jealousy and hate, um, fear, all these kind of things that are just being portrayed to the um the reader through Na naoya's um i guess mindset just off of that naoya should be faster even from the very start of the fight i believe uh, against maki and where she shows from their first like hand uh you mean the first time they swap their hands um you can tell that maki is more so more than relative um to naoya than yuji and chosa were to an even weaker and slower naoya yeah like maki is out here so so it's very impressive because a lot of people would think okay so i've actually seen this argument where it's like okay maki has seen now uh, like uh the projection sorcery technique before therefore she like preps for it um let me just nip that in the bud maki like actually doesn't see the technique um what happens is now we tell blitzes over to dagon um punches him in the face and then Maki and um, Nanami are like, what was that, right? Clearly showing they don't know what just happened. From their perspective, it just looks like teleportation, which it obviously isn't. But to them, what Naobito just did is teleport from point A to point B, right? Nanami then thinks, was that a curse technique? And then says, still, it was too fast, right? So Maki doesn't even speculate, at least from our information, she doesn't even have any speculation that Naobito or is using a technique right to her in her like slow state at this point it's just like yeah he, he's just he literally just teleported right and they're not able to see that and then in her first real encounter after you know getting amped by the the, the full heavenly restriction she's then able to block and parry his attacks and count out how many attacks he's throwing right keep in mind she only ends up getting like hit because of the function of his technique right it's unfortunate, but Naoya and Naobito, if they touch you with their palm and you move against side of the 24 frame uh, like aspect of the technique, you'll freeze. Maki doesn't know that yet. So Naoya like touching her arm once is enough for her to, you know, get comboed essentially. And, and then basically we see that later, as Cesaro was saying, not only is, he, is, is Naoya just angry here, and we do know that anger and negative emotions when controlled correlate to an increase in strength and speed. Um, but Naoya basically is saying, right, I, well, not basically, he verbatim says, I won't stop, I won't make the same mistake as before, in reference to Choso, right, he's basically saying, I've evolved from that fight, and then he has another statement that strength is weight and speed, and he's portrayed to be going at his fastest speed here, and Maki's still able to see him, right, what makes it very impressive is, Naoya hits her, activates his technique and Maki is able to turn around throw a punch and just <laughs> just slam Naoya into the pavement right yeah, now <laughs> now while Naoya always did kind of come off as like this unimpressive character just because he was always like he he didn't really win any fight he lost to Choso he lost to um he lost to Maki when you put it in perspective he's an extremely powerful character at least he's a character that's extremely fast right um when, when we backscale, what we have here is Maki. This is an injured Maki, by the way. This is Maki with, like, she's, like, bleeding out on the battlefield, right? We have Maki scaling to full power Naoya. Full power Naoya obviously scales above his, like, weakened state. Weakened Naoya bullies Yuji, makes him look like a little kid. And then Yuji is just vaguely faster than Toto. So what we have is several characters and layers of, of speed differences between them that just outright shows maki is a much faster fighter than toto right and i don't know if you if there's any contentious points you could bring up that like maybe you could argue in toto's favor um but it, it just isn't looking good in the speed department for toto um did you want to bring anything up that i might have missed yeah not to mention um 
I believe pro projection sorcery states that your opponent has to be moving at the same speed as you in order to combat the technique at all. Um, which would imply that Maki's not exactly relative to Naoya, more so equal in terms of speed, mm -hmm. and where she would have to be moving at the same rate as he is in order to, um, uh, like, not uh, go against the laws of the technique and activate its... Uh... Oh, for so sure, for uh, sure. Maki, Maki definitely has to be even with Naoya, and this is her, as Ronan said, at an even weaker state than she would be normally because of all the blood loss. Yeah. And, and so, like, ju yeah. just for clarification, because I know a lot of people will be like, you know, they're, they're, they're really arguing for Toto in this aspect here, because, you know, Toto's a beloved character, blah, blah, blah. Maki makes it very clear that she can see, so she's like 24 times, right? You and Naruto aren't just fast. Something felt strange. You make 24 movements per second. With this body, I can finally see that, right? So just to give you guys a little bit of, of a, let's, let's go with a narrative implication here, right? Yuji, even at best, is just slower than Naoya, and maybe, maybe, if you want to be a little disingenuous, can keep track of Naoya with his eyes, right? Maki, on the other hand, is able to see and analyze each individual movement that Naoya makes per second, and is able to counter that physically with her own body, right? It is very difficult to argue that yuji has any i mean not very difficult that yuji just doesn't have the feats or statements that maki does right unfortunately speaking I, of which go ahead if you don't mind me cutting in here um you you just stated that um maki says that now with this body i can see your 24 movements mm -hmm. what if that means uh something crazy like the only way you can achieve seeing through the projection sorcery is with a body that has no cursed energy or like perfect what if nobody else is capable right or so, yeah something crazy like that like what if nobody else is actually capable of seeing through it um outside of maki i honestly don't think it's that insane i mean i would imagine that there's probably some characters oh you know it, i think a, a narrative implication would just be you need to be of this level in order to match it right because this whole this whole fight from a narrative standpoint has been who is mm, the reincarnation of Toji, if you will? That's a little bit of an right. oversimplification. But this conflict for Naoya's end is just, I'm with Toji and Gojo as like this, this beyond sorcerer level threat, right? You aren't, you're an imposter. That's what they're, that's what Naoya is making this fight about, right? Maki yeah. then just figuratively and literally shuts him up, right? As in the middle of trying to make this claim, you know, she just body slams him, right? Um, so you can make the argument that if you aren't at least Toji level, you're just not a cheat. You're just not being able to see him. You can argue that maybe like six eyes users like Gojo would be able to just because Gojo is faster than Naobito. It's stated that Naobito is second fastest sorcerer, uh, or is the second fastest sorcerer, uh, um, obviously second only to Gojo. Um, so you could just make the argument that you literally just have to be that certain threshold that Yuji and Toto just don't hold up to, right? Um, but this is just speed, right? Maybe, maybe maybe Toto, like, just beats her in the AP department. Maybe Toto just hits harder and can, and can like, beat her up, right? So <laughs> let's, let's go over some of the AP feats that Toto has, right? Um, I guess we can really use a lot of the Mahito fight. Um, is there... <laughs> what, what AP feats do you think Toto has? Any, any impressive feats that you can remember from their fight? The only thing, I wouldn't even call it impressive, but the only thing I can remember Toto doing in the Mahito fight is um, kicking him across the ground and skipping him like a rock. Yeah. Uh, although that didn't cause any damage. Yeah. Um, literally, after Toto does that, Mahito's laughing and, like, filled with, like, this joyous expression, um, which is, is kind of wild. Let's see. Um, Toto has the black flash kick, I think. <laughs> I think when they're all like going at like 120% of their potential or something like that, um, Toto like Black Flash kicks Mahito and breaks his arm, I think. But <laughs> it, it, it's just it's just a bad feat, right? It's honestly, it's not necessarily an anti feat, but the fact that um, Toto with his power raised um, to, to like the exponent of 2.5 is only breaking Mahito's arm is just wild. Um, it, it's just kind of crazy. Toto doesn't. I guess, 
really have great AP, honestly. I think maybe you could derive um, his strength from him being able to, like, block attacks from Mahito during this fight. I don't know if you'd want to say, like, that that kind of core. That has to somewhat correlate to his AP, right? Um, Definitely. Yeah, he's able to block attacks from Mahito. The only problem with that is you, you'd be like, okay, maybe, you know, Mahito can damage Yuji and, and say that he could break his skull open. But the problem with that is that Mahito's AP is only really impressive. Like, his his ability to really do damage is only, I guess, uh, notable when he's shifting his body into these, like, weapons. Like, these blades um, or, 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 you know, specific things, tools that are made to kill people. His basic attacks aren't even able to, like, kill an off-guard Yuji, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure, in fact, Yuji yeah. gets hit with an off-guard like mental de-amped black flash to the chest right and doesn't die um mahito then hits yuji with a barrage of attacks and yes yuji's taking damage here the point is not that he doesn't take damage the point is that yuji's in his worst mental state arguably ever and mahito just doesn't kill him with a black flash to the chest right keep in mind black flashes are a 2.5 um i almost said times that's not even true it like raises your power um it's like the exponent of 2.5 right that's a, a a fucking wild increase um it, it, and and mahito can't kill him with that so toto blocking a base uh attack for mahito just isn't that impressive unfortunately um maki on the other hand kind of just obliterates an entire clan casually um she she essentially one shots naoya all right, let me jump in on Toto's side real quick for a little defense. Um, Ron, I have a question. Uh huh. Uh, where do you think Naoya's AP scales? His now Naoya's AP is like low key bad, I think, because I mean, it's kind of hard to say. His AP seems to stem from his speed. Um, mm -hmm. because when he just he slaps Yuji in the face or whatever, but Yuji doesn't take damage from that um right you could argue that maybe when he's like using the momentum of projection sorcery in fact not argue it, it it's just the case um we see that he he just says strength is, is speed and weight so he's just saying like you know the weight of my attacks behind like how fast i'm going will you know m injure you or whatever um i mean you could say he oh in fact he, he he's able to damage choso to a decent extent with his attacks right but I don't know like it's not like super high ap for sure what if it's like um hey how about you maybe you could say something like now you at his fastest can produce enough ap to actually one shot himself and okay. this is what maki was able to do so i don't think you could quite say maki would be able to one shot yuji but you definitely can say that with a punch that at that um uh, level of movement, Maki would be able to knock Yuji into the ground and probably cave it in, okay. do some pretty serious damage. So you think maybe part of the AP for Maki was the fact that like Naoya was moving at that speed, so it's not necessarily like a just a straight punch from Maki. Uh, I guess you could say no. I think yeah, maybe you could say that, but uh, well, yeah. yeah if you're if you're trying that. if you're trying to downplay right, you you would just say. Now he is like running into the fist essentially. So it doesn't matter how hard she punched, as long as her arm wouldn't just shatter, she would have she would have like caved his skull in or whatever, right? Um that's a pretty I think a it's a I think it's a it's slightly disingenuous, but if you're really trying to cape for Toto, you're like Toto's got to win this, <laughs> right? Um that's let's say Maki just has like I don't know. Then I mean she still one shots Ogi, Ogi who is stated or at least in his own head is relative or not inferior in any way to Naobito. Um Naobito obviously being like a supreme grade one sorcerer, um probably in the same tier as Naoya, just in, in overall stats and ability as a sorcerer. Um both of them either way have this vague level of AP. They don't necessarily like one shot special grades or anything like that. Um but but you know right now we've been talking about physical stats, right? Obviously that's of right. course, that's where Maki's gonna gonna take take the cake, right? She's she's a heavenly restriction user. What about hacks, right? Do you do you, do you think Boogie Woogie can can close the gap in, in speed and strength and allow him to clutch the victory against Maki? I think if for some reason, 
with the first boogie woogie that he uses he's able to one shot maki then yes outside of that i think multiple uses of it um would prove ineffective because maki shows that she's able to perceive something that yuji cannot mm -hmm. who, who should be a little slightly faster than toto himself so i think like in the instance where he's trying to com confuse her with proportions and his positioning and whatnot i don't think um more than one time would be effective <laughs> so toto so toto might be able to win if he boogie woogies at the start of the fight like he throws a rock at her and he, that he puts curse energy <laughs> on right he 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 teleport he, he swaps places and then like just hits her in the in the head with a black flash maybe 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 if he starts maybe, yeah. he starts the fight off with a boogie woogie black flash and he might take a win right um honestly now I'm, I'm honestly this, this this argument might be a little bit disrespectful to toto but can you imagine if he boogie woogies and swaps places and in the time between his fists like he swaps and then he throws the punch maki's able to like just take her time to attack him again that would be wild i wouldn't be surprised yeah wouldn't be surprised hmm is there okay let's because let, his toto toto's been getting bullied in this video okay let's say we give him let's say we give him playful cloud <laughs> playful cloud is that i it's just the speed is just so bad i just don't think anything you do for him ap wise really matters besides i don't even think he showed a better ap feat with playful cloud in the goodwill arc than maki did i actually yeah i don't recall toto sending hanami flying anywhere yeah i think he just hanami. in fact i think he just attacks hanami's weak point and then doesn't kill it or kill yeah kill the no. curse a uh, goodwill maki over goodwill toto hello um nah. nah 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 that's that's straight disrespectful toto's stronger than that maki unfortunately though uh maki would I think we can agree beat the the breaks off of Toto, right? Boogie Woogie isn't that useful, um, mainly because Maki doesn't have cursed energy, so he's not going to swap with her, or he's not going to be able to, right? She doesn't just have little curse; she's completely devoid of it now, so it's, he's completely unable to throw her off physically. The only thing he can do is like maybe throw cursed energy infused objects around the battlefield to swap places with, um, but like oh. Yeah, what's up? Wait, I thought I thought Toto could um, boogie woogie with inanimate objects. He can, he can do can it with inanimate not? objects, but it has to be oh, inanimate okay. objects with cursed energy. Um, so oh, that's he, a no. Yeah, he states anything that p possesses cursed energy above a certain level um, is something he can swap with. So <laughs> Maki having no cursed energy is a problem. Yeah, yeah, so that little hypothetical where he boogie. He boogie woogie i don't think that would even work boogie no. woogie black flash like toto had to yeah. like really concentrate and kind of berate himself he's like dude your brother's doing so much better than you use a black flash <laughs> and then and then only pulled it off one it's wild that he did not pull off more um considering the fact that it's supposed to put you in like the zone or whatever I mean, uh, he's just kind of lame ronan it's, yeah, it's just that simple that's wild anyways <laughs> I, I think we can agree that toto just gets folded um Boogie Woogie is more useful in like uh, group scenarios. Um, his speed is is bad in comparison to her. She literally blitzes him pretty badly. Even if you say she doesn't, she just runs up on him, punches him in the face a couple of times, and then pulls out her sword and like chops him in half. There's no real good argument for Toto being that strong. And I think it makes sense considering she has an entire arc to her, like achieving her full potential. Um, it's implied very early on, I think chapter, not very early on, but like in chapter 113, that, that Toji is just what Maki could be at full power. Um, and considering how strong Toji is, it's not very surprising that Toto can't match up to her. Um, as unfortunate it is for Toto fans, uh, Maki does take this. Um, what difficulty would you put this at? I'm, I'm honestly saying like, like kind of no diff. Oh, I was gonna give him a uh, mid to low, mid to low, or low okay, to okay. low to mid, but yeah, I, sure, sure. I I think low, I think low diff is as far as I can. Low to mid diff's fine. Low to mid diff's fine. I'll, I'll give Toto that. <laughs> he'll make nah, he'll make her sweat a nah, bit. Nah, 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 nah. No, no mid, no mid, no low. We're going with no diff. We're going no, no diff. diff, no diff. He just <laughs> he just gets bullied. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and that's it, guys. Uh, Toto does get washed by Maki, as unfortunate as it is. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more versus battles like this. These are pretty fun and interesting videos to do. Um, 
So, you know, big thanks to Cesaro for joining me on this video. Did make the scaling uh, and conversation about this quite a bit easier. Um, yes, sir. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, this is uh, Broken Ronin signing off.